Hi, how are you this afternoon? Here's the letter hey. And what's important to remember is that it's open in between these two parts of it. Okay? In Hebrew, the word for mountain is har that begins with hey. So this is a little mountain. Har. Here's a story about the letter hey. It would help if you watched the story about the letter Dalit first, just saying. Well, one day the letters of the Hebrew alphabet were just hanging around together and the letter Dalit was talking all about Adam's new house. It has a floor, a ceiling, a chimney, walls, and a door that looks just like me, Dalit. And the letter Hay said, does it have a window that looks like me? No, said Dalit. Well, every house ought to have a window to let in the fresh air and sunshine. So Hay went off to visit Adam. Adam was living in his new house. And when Hay knocked on the door that was shaped like a Dalit, Adam came out. Hi, Adam. I love your house. It's great. It has a floor, a ceiling, walls, a chimney, and a door to get in and out. Do you have a window? What's a window? Why would I need that? Oh, if you have a window, you can get fresh air and sunshine. How would I make a window? It's easy. You just cut a hole in it. No, 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 no. I already cut one hole in my door to make the door. I'm not cutting any more holes in my walls. But how will you get fresh air and sunshine? If I want fresh air and sunshine, I just go out the door outside. So Adam did not build any windows in his house. And when Adam and Eve had children and grandchildren, they did not build windows in their houses either. And when Hay asked them about it, all they would say is, well, our father and grandfather Adam didn't have any windows, so we don't need any windows. Well, Hay was getting very discouraged. Meanwhile, many more people were living in the world and none of them were building houses with windows. Until one day, Hay heard that someone was building a new kind of house, a house boat. It was actually an ark because there was going to be a flood. So Hay thought, I should tell this person to put windows in this new ark. Well, he found out that it was Father Noah who was building the ark, and he went to find Noah. And what he found was all of the animals lining up in a long line to get to Father Noah, to have their names checked so they could get onto the ark. Where's your wife? said Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. You have to be here with your wife. I don't have a wife. I have to see Mr. Noah. Well, you can't stand in front of us. Go to the back of the line. I did this not in alphabetical order, I see, because the next couple he saw was Mr. and Mrs. Elephant. And they said, you can't stand in front of us. You have to go to the back of the line. Father Noah's checking one's, everyone's name in order. They had to stand all the way in the back of the line behind Mr. and Mrs. Zebra. Finally, it was his turn at the front of the line and there was Father Noah. What's your name? And Hay said, don't you recognize me, Father Noah? Hey, I mean, you're the letter Hey. What are you doing here? I came to tell you 
that you should build windows in your ark. What do I need a window for? Well, you're going to be on the ark for 40 days and 40 nights, aren't you? How are you going to know if the weather is nice? How are you going to know if it stops raining? How are you going to know where you are when it stops raining? Gee, I had not thought of that, said Mr. Noah. If you have a window in your ark, you will be able to look out and see what is the weather and where you are. That is really a great idea, said Mr. Noah. So he brought hay to his three sons and their wives, and they built windows into the ark. And after the flood, Noah and Mrs. Noah and all the animals on the ark were able to see where they had landed and when the weather was nice and sunny so that they could go out of the ark and build more houses with windows. And that's because of the letter hay, which is shaped like a window.